Hello everyone, today I'm going to use my uh, rock box, my portatable oven. I'm going to show you the tips to use to cook in your pizza at home. Let's store that, that is a uh, lovely uh, portatable oven. I'm going to show you a couple of tips to cook in the pizza in two different ways. If you like super crispy, if you like a Napolitan style. And uh, we're going to connect now. We're going to show you how you to connect it. If you never used this uh, uh, rock box before, I got two of them. Normally I use when my big oven is not have a space to, to cook the pizza in my events. So we're gonna open up first and then we're gonna read it. I'm gonna show you if you never use rock box before, I'm gonna show you the way to connect it. Also I recommend uh, if you do, you can use also with the with the fire, with the with the wood as well. But uh, ideally, gas is the best best way to to cook your pizza. Okay. So as yeah, you can see that the front has to be lit here. Click, lift it, and then normally gonna take around half an hour before you use it. With it. Also, you have to be propane gas to use the the kind of oven like that. Click it, open the gas, and you can, you can see the sound. So now, before you start, you have to press it at the back. Let the gas come in. And then you're gonna click. Make sure it's gas on. So it's on. It's on. I'm gonna explain as well how you clean the base as well before baking any pizzas. Uh, as you can see, we've got thermometer, thermometer here, which is very handy when you are baking the pizza. You don't need the laser. So I want to make you sure it's got at least 450 temperature before baking a pizza. There is no point. Very important when you use this oven, it has to be super hot because otherwise your pizza will be white at the bottom, will be good. So normally it takes rock box or only only for that work, that's so we take around half an hour to reach the temperature. So we want to make super hot before you use it. So it's, as you can see now, it's a, it's a zero now, we just switch it on. So let's give a half an hour before baking any pizza so we really recommend a use gas if you want a good performance as a little portable oven otherwise i tried pellets and stuff like that they're not really powerful so gas if you like baking great pizza stick with the gas propane also very important to use only outdoor this is designed to keep outdoor so we're gonna give a little bit time we're gonna bake soon I'm gonna show you a couple of tips to cook your pizza in two different styles. I'm gonna see in half an hour. Let's do it. Alright guys, as you can see I'm doing my Sunday roast as a Sunday. Uh, uh, I use my my oven to make Sunday roast. So back to the video again. So the, the temperature of the this oven is reaching nearly uh, 450. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I've got a little brush we normally use to clean a little bit inside. Uh, so give a little bit clean, always clean the base. Um, and now we're gonna bake a pizza. So normally, personally for me, I like uh, you can, because you got two options at the back of the oven. High temperature, like that, which is high, or a bit lower temperature. So if you like it a more crispy, keep as a low flame. If you like more Napolitan style, keep a high flame. And we're gonna do two pizzas. More of crunchy and rusty uh, Napolitan style. So let's make the first one a Napolitan style pizza. So it all depends how you prefer this, your, your pizzas. And you go, and 
shit. And so I do like more crispy, so we're gonna make more in the egg flame. Put it be same in at the bottom just to avoid stickness. Oh, we need to do it. Okay. 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 So a couple of leaves leaf for basil. Yeah, put a little bit of barbies as well. And we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil after on the cooking. So we get high flame. Always use this pizza peel to rotate because it's too white at the bottom. You can use another pizza peel. Okay. I'm gonna start burning your turn like that way. Okay, so now I can use the little one if you like to use a little rotate because now they make small, small core food. Okay, and we're gonna give a little bit of burning. And then we'll be cooking that pizza in the high flame. The bottom might be a little bit overcooked, a little bit. Normally, the first piece you can burn because it's hot. If you like more, bit more crispy, we're gonna reuse the flame. So, this is like flame now, so we're gonna go low flame if you like super extra crispy. We're gonna leave that piece now for now. We're gonna give another clean, as you can see, there's a little bit semolina there. I use this little brush. So a bit low temperature. Oh, it's too easy to fly away. It was to fly away the pizza. Make some oil, no worries, we'll fix it. This oil is also fragile now. It's been room turning for a long, long time. So I want to give you a couple of tips to cook your pizza with this little portable oven. If you like crispy or more stuffed, right? Pizza peel, what is it? Make sure. And you stretch it like that. So now, it has to be more crispy if you like to cook this pizza oven. Get better color of that. 
Using this little portable oven is very tricky. So the first thing, you have to turn the pizzas quickly, otherwise it will be burned. Take them out, and then you can rotate on the pizza pail. Go back, the space is very small, so you have to be fast, otherwise it will burn across. And I'm gonna show you the difference of the two speakers. This is nice. That's my pizza, more crispy. I'm gonna put it on the table now. Let's check the bottom as well. Okay, this is kind of nice. Open timing, a lot of crispy. So that's low flame. This is we cook a little bit high flame, you know, it starts to burning as well. Uh, check the bottom as well here. Start to burn, but you have to control it. Uh, so I like more a low flame when I cook my pizzas. And uh, That's more what I like it. It was a step again, a little bit better, but the temperature was hot. So that's the way if you want to make a um, more crispy or more polyester style. So keep the temperature a bit lower if you like more crispy. And you have to turn very quickly. So that was a little bit uh, tips for you guys if you want to use this little oven. The nice if you use only only oven or rock box or mostly or other type of portable oven. You have to be fast, turn quickly, and checking your temperature as well. Make sure it's cooking also properly at the bottom. So that was little tips for you for today, guys. I hope you like this little uh, tips and tricks for you. And thanks for watching. See you at the next video.